Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Today, I want to talk about the danger of nostalgia. In my previous video, I talked about the problem with Juggernaug and Black Ops 4, and this started an amazing conversation in the comment section, something that I always dream about having. You guys are fantastic. Thank you guys so much for that conversation. And within one of those conversations was a commenter, Crap Reviewer, and he says this. I feel Zombies had its own distinct charm back in the day that made people fall in love with it. That charm was formed from the characters, the story, the atmosphere, and the perks. All of those things were what made Treyarch Zombies what it was. I am incredibly brand loyal to Zombies, and it will be with the mode for as long as it goes on. However, I can't help but feel that a lot of that charm was lost with the removal of the perks. And the main thing that is that I feel even more of it will be lost for me when the Aether ends. As I said, I'll still be playing and I still enjoy the mode, but something I feel is lost with all of the new mechanics and big sweeping changes. This is the quintessential example of nostalgia. Crap Reviewer here doesn't like Black Ops 4, not because he thinks the mechanics are bad or it plays poorly or it's bad in any way, but simply because it's not the zombies that we know. And this is not a dog on Crap Reviewer at all. I feel like a lot of, perhaps a majority of the zombies community feels this way, and it's okay to feel this way. It's natural to feel this way. When we've been playing the same game for 10 years, for however long we've been playing it, and all of a sudden the base fundamentals of that game are completely changed, we want that old game back. We want to play more of that old game and have more of those memories that we have. However, the problem and the danger of this mindset is we are not allowing ourselves to enjoy what the game has become. And the perk system is the perfect example of this. I don't like the new perk system. Why? Because it's not the old perk system. And you'll find that a lot. It just doesn't feel the same. It just doesn't have that charm. Those are subjective feelings. I mean, what's really charmful? What do you feel right about? How does one plan that out? How is that objective in any way? Now I know what you're thinking, oh well Donuts, the new perk machines aren't that charmful, you know? I miss when all the perks have their perk machines. Well, look at the chaos. They all have their individual statues and they are very, very cool and they are very, very full of charm. You know, I love the new perk statues in the chaos storyline. But we're really not talking about the perk statues, we're really not talking about what the specific objective things are. We could talk about them for as long as we can, but the core fundamental argument is it is not what it once was. And I think the biggest uphill battle that Treyarch has had to fight and for us to fight is to be okay with that. It's okay that this is a completely new game. It's okay that the perks have changed. It's okay that the points have changed, that the wonder weapons have changed, that the special zombies have changed. It's okay that those things have changed. However, the important thing is, is why they have changed and how that change is either better or worse. And hopefully on this channel, I have done a good job of keeping it objective. The pros and the cons of the point system, the perks of the new perk system, how I don't like the new uh, Juggernaug system, or I'm probably gonna make a video of why I don't like the new specialist system. I think any developer, any game player, any person is perfectly okay with you disliking a game mechanic or disliking a character or disliking some objective thing, some tangible thing about whatever. But as soon as you start saying, well, I don't like it just because it doesn't feel right or just because eh, it's just not what it was before, that's when your argument loses a lot of credit, at least with me. And the sad part, the worst part about this, the reason I'm making this video is because that feeling, which is all completely justified, potentially limits you and limits your enjoyment of something that is genuinely so, so good. Black Ops 4 Zombies, in my opinion, is perhaps my favorite zombies game. I think the mechanics are just so well thought out. I think there's so much progress made with the core fundamentals of the zombies game mode in Black Ops 4 that I think I would prefer this mechanic in other zombies maps. Like Black Ops 3, in my opinion, has better maps, but Black Ops 4 has better mechanics. 
And I don't think those things are really appreciated because people feel this nostalgia. I feel like people are missing out on so many good things like Rush Mode and Gauntlets and just amazing maps and amazing game mechanics in Black Ops 4 just because it's not the same game, which sounds kind of ridiculous. We could talk in circles all day, and I want to try to avoid, you know, talking about the specifics of why things are better or worse or whatnot. I'd, I'd, I'd like to think my videos have already done that, but I just really want to end off by saying please judge, and it's not just Black Ops 4, please judge zombies, please judge, you know, Apex Legends or God of War or Minecraft or whatever the game is, whatever the movie is, based on your objective reasoning as well as you know, instead of nostalgia, don't just discredit something because it's not what you wanted. Base your judgment on its own merits rather than what you expect it to be. And please don't get it twisted. I am not completely objective. I am very, very subjective. I, have you seen the tier list that I made? I put Zetsubo no Shima above Origins, you know, even though I think that's for objective reasons. But, you know, I put, you know, Modern Warfare 3 as one of my favorite Call of Duty multiplayers ever, when it's clearly not one of the best, you know? Like, I am a subjective person. It's fun to be subjective, and it's, and it's cool to have your opinions, and it's okay to have nostalgia. It's okay not to like something because it's not what it was before, but... I just don't want us to lose sight of the fact that you could be missing out on something so amazing because of that nostalgia. I know humans are so, so weird. Emotions are very complex and hopefully this video goes over well. Hopefully I make some sort of sense, but that's all I have time for you guys today. Please write down in the comment section below what you think of nostalgia and what you think of, of zombies and all this sort of good stuff. But I am just, I'm loving zombies this year. It's, it's just, I'm having so much fun with zombies this year and I hope you guys are too. And I don't want you guys to lose out on a lot of fun just because you are missing the past. If you miss the past, you can go play it. That's the best thing about zombies. If you miss Black Ops 3, go play Black Ops 3. I missed I, I missed playing Moon and Revelations the other day, so I went back and I played them. And I was like, cool, this is fun. And I, just, I love that we can do that. Don't limit your fun because of uh, something me... Uh, that's the fifth time I've ended this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Until the next absolutely beautiful zombies morning. Beautiful zombies morning. I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, stay beautiful.